everyone, a very big welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi. <laughs> we are very quickly approaching. I've just had soup. Do I have soup around my mouth? My dad's homemade soup is delicious, to be fair. I have mixed feelings about Valentine's Day. On my channel, I usually talk about how it is quite materialistic and commercial. Other times, I've done gift guide videos because I love, like, both giving and receiving presents. It's just something I've always promoted and thought was nice and harmless. Um, particularly at like Christmas or birthdays, but Valentine's Day, I'm a bit torn. I think I'm probably going to be doing two Christmas at uh, Christmas. <laughs> oh God, Christmas has been and gone, Ellie. Christmas has been and gone. I think I will be doing two Valentine's themed videos this year. I'll probably be doing another makeup and makeup tutorial one. But for this video, we've actually been sponsored on this channel. Yeah! <laughs> Box of Favours is sponsoring us today. They challenged me to make a Valentine's Day themed video as unmaterialistic as possible. <coughs> Ellie always accepts a challenge because they believe it's all about spending time with your other half and enjoying your other half's company opposed to just buying more junk. So here's the box in all its glory. I'm gonna be leaving a link down there in the description. I just think this is a really nice idea for somebody who isn't too into what it is that everyone's buying this year for the other half and you're not really interested in that kind of stuff. This is the kind of thing that is timeless. <laughs> so basically one of my favorite things about this is it comes with a contract. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of Fifty Shades of Grey here. Oh. oh my god this is so cute. Look how small it is. It says I dot 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 hereby undertake to deliver any of the favors within this box when presented with this card by Dot, 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 dot. and obviously you fill in the names. And the best thing about this contract, it says, I understand that by not delivering a favor as requested, I will not only be a miserable sod, but also in breach of this contract and shall be punished accordingly. If, if that's not Fifty Shades, I, uh, <laughs> and the idea of this is that you are supposed to give your partner this on Valentine's Day so they can sort of use these as like uh, vouchers in a way. So like, you know when you get Subway vouchers and stuff? It's like that, but you get a favour, which in my opinion is a lot better. A special meal, that's a very valuable one. Back massage, oh my god, my boyfriend never gives me them, so... <gasps> movie of choice is also very good because we're always fighting over which movie to watch. And my very most favourite thing about this is that there are blanks here so you can write your own favours. Winky face, if you no, I'm saying <laughs> every product that they sell, they plant, plant one whole tree. That's me pretending to be a tree. <laughs> I got thinking to dates and spending time with my other half and what we'll be doing on Valentine's Day. Obviously going on a date is one of my favourite things, especially if we're going out for dinner. Even if it's a play date with friends, I'm like, let's go get some dinner. I also love dressing up. Obviously, I have a beauty channel. I love dolling myself up, getting ready, putting my hair on. Put my hair on? <laughs> putting my hair in some form. <laughs> Going out and feeling pretty while doing it. I think that's very important. So for this video, I have conjured up some of the easiest and simplest hair styles for date nights that I could possibly think of because I'm not one to do a lot of my hair. I can I can dye my hair until it turns green, but styling my hair, I really struggle with. So these styles are so ridiculously simple that even someone like me can do them. They're particularly good also if you've recently just cut your hair off like I have and so many other people are doing at the moment and then figured, oh crap, I can't do anything with my hair now. Not true. There's a lot of hairstyles to go through, so I'm gonna shut my gob and hopefully enjoy the video. <laughs> This hairstyle I would say is a bit more sophisticated than the others and it's a little bit more fancy than the others so I guess I started off quite intense. <laughs> All it simply involves is one of your favourite headbands or hairbands. I feel like the headband that you use can definitely change the way this looks. Just pop the headband on and then with all the hair that you've got coming out from under it, simply swirl it around and tuck it in. I tend to take little bits from the side of my hair out and then I can curl them and that usually looks really, really nice. You just run your fingers through them and they will turn quite loose and wavy. As I was saying before, using different headbands for this can change the way this looks, so something like a flower crown can make this look more cute and fun. I'm 
I'm putting half of my hair up and then I'm just creating a little hole on the top of the ponytail I can't really explain this but then you basically just tuck the ponytail into that hole and then it makes some nice looking thing on your head <laughs> Then with a the little ponytail, I am going to crimp it. You can crimp your hair using a hair straightener, which I'm showing you here. But I have a Tony and Guy crimper, which I literally love so much. And it's my favorite thing to do with my hair, just to crimp it. So I'm crimping the ponytail bit up the top here. Crimping your hair with straighteners basically involves just putting the straightener over the hair you're about to crimp. And instead of going directly down in a straight motion, you kind of go right, left, right, left, right, left, and you twist the straightener with your wrist. And then with the little sections of my hair that come out on the side, I'm gonna be crimping those as well. I don't know why I do this. I just think it completes the look. I tend to just get my fingers and mess it up a little bit because I think messier looks a lot nicer to me, I don't know. Space buns have been a thing for ages now. This isn't something new, but this is something simple and something that I can do. And if I can do it, then you can too. I, I feel like that whole sentence just rhymed. <laughs> So to do this, I do the same thing with the half up, half down style. This time I'm gonna cut the top ponytail into two sections. Once I've cut the sections, I can put one of the ponytails into a space bun by basically using as many clips as possible. So you can get really small, tiny, cute ones for this, or you can make really big ones, depending on how many clips you use, but you basically just keep attacking the bun with clips and it eventually forms some sort of bun. And this is pretty messy. I purposely do it quite messy. So if you're quite a tidy, neat person, this video might stress you out. The part in isn't perfect. I didn't even use a mirror for the back of it, so that's probably why. I'm gonna be having crimp and curled hair together. This looks really nice. Once again, half up, half down. I, I, there's a bit of a theme here. I just think short hair looks really nice. Half up, half down. <laughs> I'm gonna curl all the parts of the hair that's underneath the ponytail into these really nice ringlets using my hair straightener. Try not to burn yourself like I do here. So this is quite a fun hairstyle, this is quite a cute one, so I wanted to add to that sort of theme by finding one of my prettiest hair bands that I could possibly find, this little baby pink bow, the girliest, prettiest hair band I could simply get my hands on. Then I'm just crimping my hair with the hair straighteners, but once again you can use an actual crimper, you can use hair straighteners for more than straightening your hair, funny enough, I mean everyone knew that Ellie, it's 2017, come on now. <laughs> This is probably one of my favorite things to do with my hair. I'm literally always doing this with my hair, just curling your hair all over, but I'm twisting the hair straighteners right for some curls and then I'm twisting them left for others because if you curl your hair in all the same direction for every single curl, the hair ends up just sticking together rather than giving you really nice voluminous curls that are just flying everywhere. <laughs> And a little tip to add more volume for your hair if you're curling it is to put your hair in a middle part in and then once your hair's all curled you can put your side part in back it will just add so much volume and 
something that I think looks really cute with thick voluminous hair is just putting a little bit of the hair behind your ears and then slipping a clip behind it so it keeps it in place. Speaking of big, voluptuous and crazy hair, something that is a little bit more wild, like a tiny bit more wild, crimping. Crimping's on my, oh, it's just one of my all time favorite things to do with my hair at the moment. I wouldn't necessarily wish my hair to be crimped naturally because I feel like that's, that would be such a pain if I ever want it straight. I just, I just love crimped hair. So I'm using my Tony and Guy crimper for this. It's a lot easier to use an actual crimper if you're crimping your whole hair because otherwise going back and forward with straighteners is a little bit frustrating, but it is possible. And for crimping my hair, I also do the same thing where I put my hair in a middle part in and then crimp the hair like that. And then when you flick it back over to your middle part in, there is a lot more volume there. And just to add something a little bit more different, and this is something that I sometimes do and then a lot of people are like, oh, I've only just noticed this. This is something that isn't too obvious, but when people see it, they tend to compliment me on it, which I think is really nice. I just add a few plaits. So instead of putting a clip behind my ear, I am putting a little plait in that area of my hair and then I'm tucking it behind my ear and then pulling out a little bit of my hair in front of my ear, if that makes any sense. And then I'm finding other parts of my hair to plait just randomly. The the sides and the back and whatnot. I'm using quite a thick black headband for the plaits at the end. This isn't everyone's cup of tea. You might want to use very subtle see-through hairbands, but I really like the black obnoxious ones. I just think it shows up the plaits a lot more and I just think it looks cuter with the red. I don't know. Thank you very very much for watching this video guys i hope it gave you some tips and some ideas and some inspiration let me know what your favorite hairstyle was in the comment section below or if it inspired you to do anything completely different as long as you enjoyed the video once again thank you so much to box of favors for sponsoring this if you guys could give them some love by clicking the link in the description that doesn't only support them it supports me because it shows them that working with youtubers is a great thing if you want to give your other heart half of a half i was about to say other half and then I went to say partner, so it was other half of favours this year, then consider this and maybe you'll be in their good books for the rest of the year when you're making them breakfast in bed, making teas and sacrificing your favourite films for their annoying, tragic films. And I will see you for my next video, which will be very, very soon. Have a good Valentine's Day, guys. Look out for my Valentine's makeup tutorial coming very soon so I can glam myself up for the day. I've got my hair done, now it's just time to do my makeup. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified every time I make a brand new video. I'm also on social media, such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. And I'll see you soon. Mwah.